Resolution 1, Inspection of the Drive Chain. SVC-041-0001. Reference, Drive Motor and Reducer Service Guide for Gas Rotisseries, SVC-026-0005. This procedure applies to all gas rotisserie models. It will be needed if the rotisserie's dry rotation is slow, not moving, or excessively noisy, and if the dry motor fuse blows often, or if the main circuit breaker at the back of the unit trips frequently. Use the table of contents embedded in the description of this video to skip ahead to the desired topic. Note, for the Inferno 35, 43, WG, 2000, and 3000, you must first carry out the Resolution 2, Verify Drive Mobility, as per the reference document, Drive Motor and Reducer Service Guide, SVC-026-0005. Contact Hart if you require the document, or consult it online from Hart's secure webpage for service companies. To inspect the drive chain for the Blaze, Inferno 3500 and Inferno GC, proceed as follow. You will need one number two Phillips screwdriver, a socket wrench set or a half inch and a ninth sixteenth inch open wrenches, one hexagonal Allen key set, two flathead screwdrivers, one ruler or a tape measure, one square tool, NSF grade Loctite 680 retaining compound. A. Power off the unit by pushing the main on-off red switch and unplug the unit's power cord. B. Remove the right-hand side access panel to uncover the drive chain. C. Ensure that the chain is properly seated and in good condition, lightly oiled, without debris, rust accumulation, or other impediments to motion. D. Apply a light finger pressure of approximately 8 to 10 pounds at the midpoint on one side of the unsupported chain and measure the approximate chain deflection. E. Compare the measurement needed for your requirement to the chain deflection table. If the drive chain tension needs adjustment for the Inferno 35, 43, WG, 2000, and 3000, refer to the Resolution 1, Verify Chain Condition, as per the reference document, Drive Motor and Reducer Service Guide, SVC-026-0005. Contact Hart if you require the reference document. You can also consult it online from Hart's secured webpage for service companies. If the chain's tension needs adjustment for the Blaze, Inferno 3500, and Inferno GC, proceed as follow. 1. Lightly loosen the drive motor's four mounting bolts, as well as the jam nut and adjustment bolt underneath the drive motor assembly. 2. Wedge a flat screwdriver behind the drive motor assembly to maintain spacing. 3. Use a secondary flat screwdriver as a lever to slide the drive motor assembly either away from the main drive sprocket to tighten or hand push the drive motor assembly towards the main drive sprocket to loosen the chain. 4. If more movement is required, loosen the jam nut and adjustment bolt beneath the drive motor assembly and retry. Note, the drive motor assembly sprocket must be squared to the main drive sprocket. 5. While performing the chain adjustments, place a straight tool as indicated to align both the main drive and the drive motor assembly sprockets. 6. Remeasure the drive chain tension and repeat the process if necessary, tightening the bolts and nuts when finished. F. Reconnect the power cord of the rotisserie and turn the oven on by pulling the main on-off red switch. Advance the drive for one minute by holding down the green advance button, verifying the chain's tension and listening for excessive drive noises. G. 
Repeat steps D to G if necessary. H. Power off the unit by pushing the main on-off red switch and unplug the unit's power cord. I. Verify for the proper deflection again. Proper chain tension is an important factor in the rotisserie's reliability. J. Once the deflection is properly adjusted, fully tighten the drive motor's four mounting bolts and secure the applicable adjustment bolt and jam nuts underneath the drive motor assembly to reduce the oven's vibration noises. K. If the reducer was inspected as per resolution 4, reducer inspection, SVC-041-0004, do not forget to apply some NSF grade Loctite 680 retaining compound to the set screws thread securing the drive motor assembly sprocket. L. Proceed to the next applicable resolution outlined in the table of content SVC-041-0005 if needed to correct any other symptom if applicable. M. Reinstall the right hand side excess panel and restore power to the rotisserie once all symptoms have been corrected. This concludes video service guide Resolution 1, Inspection of the Drive Chain, SVC-041-0001. If you would like a printed version of these instructions, contact HART and request Drive Motor and Reducer Service Guide for Gas Rotisseries, SVC-026-0005. You can also consult it online from HART's secured webpage for service companies. For any assistance, call Hart at 1-800-387-6847.